I got a lesson on the portal from Tony and Jay. Yeah, you can transfer a portal lesson. More, more, yeah, more Jay than Tony. More than Jay than Tony? Yeah. Jay keeps up with that. No. Jay doesn't have a clue. But you know what? He's got away with it for how long now? About 40 years? I think he was doing the games when I played here. I think it's about well, he 40 was. years. I th oh, yeah. he, he was doing TV. He was doing TV. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. he was. And then they found out he had a face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to see tomorrow? I want to win, man. Enthusiasm from your guys. If we don't have effort and enthusiasm, we're in deep trouble. They're good. They're really good. Uh, they 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 took it to Kansas, and then they had a chance to win last night. I think I think Jamie's done a great job. He's got a heck of a team. They've played a number of games in the last two weeks. I mean, because so I mean, we, when you look at that, is there a way to tire them, try to wear their legs when you're an opposing coach? What's what's the theory when you see somebody's played a lot lately? I don't know. We haven't played in probably since UAB. <laughs> so I don't. I don't know. I. I mean, we've we've done that before, and sometimes you play well, sometimes you don't. I mean, look at we take a young bunch out there to the tournament a few years ago, and we won our first game, and and then we beat Texas Tech, who goes on to play in the championship game of the, of, of the whole shebang. Uh, I don't know. I we should have been tired. I think we were probably tired, but we played really well. It's 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 so much a it's so much a mental thing. I, I really think it is. I mean, you think about it. I mean, when I got it out of school here, I went and played in every money tournament I could play in, which I probably played about six days a week, and I never got tired. I was anxious. I was anxious for the game to end, so I, they'd hand me the money. I could stick it in my pocket. But other than that, no, no, we played in gyms. You know, for the majority of your career, you've gotten teams to play to their potential. Is that one of the frustrating things about this season, is getting whatever their potential is, getting them to play to their potential? How do you know what their potential was? That I don't know what it was. You know, I... You know, we go down, we're losing to UAB, and Keedy really, Keedy really turned it on. And it was more Keedy than it was anybody. Uh, he made he made some huge plays for us. Got the ball back for us. Um, I, I don't, you know, John. I I don't know how do I, I how am I supposed to know what they think? I mean, I'll tell you the truth. We're watching film yesterday, and I just said, "Turn it off." There's no sense watching this. You ever done that yeah. Yep, I have, but not. I didn't. I didn't have near as much cause to do it then as I did yesterday. You know, it, it, it's. I mean, you watch it. It's you just can't. You, I can't watch it. It's. So I told them, hey, you know, you guys stay in here and figure it out. Took the freshman out and got them some shots. I don't know. You know, before before if I did that to those guys, they were they're pissed off. You know, they 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 came back with a vengeance. Um, I'd like to tell you that's going to happen now. I I don't know if it is. I doubt it. Bob, you've coached you know forty years, head coach. Uh, did you learn anything from this year? Are there, are there lessons to be to be taken from 
Uh, I'm sure there is, Bob. I'd have to. I'd have to. I'd have to think about it. I mean, it, it, it's it's hard to win when you don't try to. I mean, we we got a guy standing out there dribbling a ball at half half court at uh, Oklahoma does, and we just let him drive straight line right to the basket, and then they come down and they do it again, and then they come down and they do it again. So one of our guys finally runs off of his guy to go try to help, and they throw it to him, and now three consecutive times they make three threes. I mean, you don't do that on the playground, man. When you're, you know, you're trying to stay on the on the court, much less in a in a college basketball game. I don't have an explanation. Uh, I I wish I did, but I I don't have one. 41 years, I've never, ever experienced anything even remotely close to this. I mean, in terms of... I could lie and tell you some bullshit. I'm not going to. That's the truth. When you say that, you mean just like baffling play? Guy, think guys who do things that you just can't figure out? Is that what you mean? How do you let the same guy beat you three times from half court? I should have left. Not, not not like he went down and, you know, drove you hard back, got you back on your heels and pulled up and shot, shot a layup. How do you leave your man three times? Okay, he makes the first one. Of course, he made how many here against us beat us here? They saw that on film before. How do you do that? I don't know how you do it, man. You know, if it was, if it was one guy, okay, hasn't been one guy. We've had opportunities. We, I mean, we had a great opportunity to beat Texas. We make some really, really dumb plays. Why? I don't. I don't. I don't understand. Because if we didn't do that before, I don't know. I, I. I'd like to be able to tell you the whys and wherefores. I don't know what they are. Uh, lineups, rotations, anything that. Uh, what what am I gonna What am I gonna What am I gonna line up and change? Right. I mean, Justin, think about it. We were playing really well. Okay, Taz gets knocked out. Right. That's a bad deal. I mean, that was a bad deal. You don't. I mean, you don't stop the play. You don't go look at what happened. You don't do anything. That's that's a ridiculous thing for them to not do and so we finished the game with him sitting on a bench and still really played pretty well down the stretch so how do you do that at Baylor and how do you I mean <laughs> you, you know we're doing a radio show last night and they want to talk about the portal you know Jay wants to talk about the portal and I said well you know correct me if I'm wrong but Everybody was just, you know, head over heels. Texas going to win everything. By God, they got the best players. They went in there and got the best players out of the portal. They won in anything. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I'm the only one on staff who wanted to take Polly. I can tell you that, but. I thought he played hard. I thought we need we need hard playing guys. You know, our skill level's not very good, uh, particularly on the front line. That shouldn't stop you from playing. This is without a question the worst defensive team that I've ever been around. Ever. I mean, if you look at the numbers. We're the worst defensive team in America, according to the numbers. If you if you pay attention to those numbers, I mean, I want to preface it by saying that. But I'm just kind of curious, like looking ahead, uh, you've got a lot of 
core group of young guys, and, and not just one or two. It's it's a good, you know, it's a good amount. Two, four, or five guys coming back, plus two other freshmen. I think behind them in this next class, so you're looking at, you know, five, six really young guys. What are your thoughts with mixing that in with other portal guys? I mean, is there? Well, we're gonna we're gonna. We're going to do the best job we can possibly do in the portal. But we talked about this last night. You know, Justin, they're paying a million dollars for a quarterback. How do we compete? Right. I know. I know. That's NIL, but I mean, that's not really the... Well, it's the same thing. You, 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 now you're not going to sit there and tell me you really don't think that those guys that are in the portal aren't selling the fact that they can pay a million dollars to the quarterback? Of course they are. So so what's going to happen? It ends up being a bidding war. I don't know. Maybe it happened before. I never got involved in all that stuff. But I, and now it's legal to do. So, you know, everybody's like, the well, get in the portal. It's not like you just reach down in there and snatch somebody out of there. They want to know what they get. What do I get? So, you know, somebody says, well, you get this, 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 and this. What's to stop somebody else from going in and saying, hey, listen, we got a great deal for you. How about this, 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 and this? Oh, yeah. Now, now the first guy calls again, maybe, and they say, now, Coach, I've decided to go another direction. Pretty now in general. I mean, high school kids are probably saying the same stuff, right? Maybe even junior college kids that are. Junior college kids, I think, can do it. Uh, high school kids can't do it. The top high school kids, they're probably getting. <clears throat> they were doing it before. Come right. On. They were doing it before with the top high school kids. It just wasn't a portal. They don't have to go through the portal. They cut their own deals on the side. They could put it in the books back then, yeah. I know the circumstances have changed, but the last time you were in this situation, you hit the reset button and came up with Press Virginia. And it went on that great run there of Sweet 16s. Once you get past this and you kind of clear your head, do you sit there and say, do we need to reinvent ourselves or do we need to go get better players? Is it just a matter of that? Both. Both. The last time, the last time it happened was when we were still testing for marijuana. You know, I mean, that's how, that's how far away that was. You know, I mean, there was. I and I don't. Press Virginia happened for two reasons. J.C. was the best guy I'd ever seen on the ball, and Seggs was the best shot blocker that I'd seen in college basketball since uh, Elijah won. Seggs wasn't there at that point, though. Seggs was there. Seggs was Seggs, well, not in, right, not the started, right? very first, but yeah. Seggs was there shortly after. Right. But Elijah was back there. We had three guys that we substituted back and forth back there. Had, yeah, Nate, had, had Deb back there. Nate was back there some. Um, Holding on the ball. No, uh, Big's nephew was back there. Right. right. And he was probably the best shot blocker of the group that we had back there. But then when Sags came, it was a, you know, it was a totally different deal. When you had kids coming to play Press Virginia. Mm-hmm. You kind of had that label. I mean, you sit there and say, well, look at the reality. I don't reality. know, John. We did and we didn't. You know, I mean, the story about me going in at 8 o'clock in the morning and watching J.C. press in full court by himself at one man press, that's the gospel truth. And I was like, you know, we're just coming off of all the, the, the mess that, you know, was there before. And I'm like, I'm going to take that guy. I don't care if he makes a shot or not. I'm taking that guy. So we take J.C., um, 
Nate Adrian was a heck of a player. Nate Nate doesn't get near the due that he deserved. I mean, because he could play a lot of spots, you know, and 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 play them well. And and so we so we have those those pieces. Daxter Miles is as good an athlete as we've had here. He just he wasn't as dedicated as JC, but he was a hell of a player. So what you did was based on the best thing your personnel that's what that's what i always do so you look at this now you kind of i've never been at a place john where i could select i've always been at places where i had to recruit the best available and so when you recruit the best available you don't come in and say hey we're going to run this because they probably can't we're going to take a look at what you do well and we're going to try to accentuate the positive. That's how I've coached my whole career. Uh, you know, I mean, and I, I've been very fortunate. I mean, like the one year, the one year I get, I get Kenyon, I get Demar, I get Pete Michael, Jermaine Tate transfers in. That very, that was probably one of the very few times that anything like that happened. Good news is in basketball, you don't need many guys to get right. You get a couple good guys and who right. says who says that? Well, I mean, you don't. It's not like football where you need a bunch of guys. You get a couple good guys, you can get right pretty quick. Point. Many instances where that happens. Uh, there's many instances when it doesn't happen too. All you need is all you need is some. I mean, Kenyon broke his leg. We're the best team in the country, and it wasn't even close. And no, nobody argued with it. We were so far better than everybody else. And he broke his leg. How do you? I don't. I didn't have another one to put in there. <laughs> Donald Little had one eye. You think this can get? Fixed, yeah, one yeah. Off, and one off season, or is this going to? What, what are your thoughts on? That? No, we'll fix it. We'll fix it, but it's. I mean, it, it, it's not as it's not as simple as sticking your sticking your hand in a in a sock and pulling somebody out. You know, I mean, that's the way everybody wants to make it look like it is. It's not that at all. And 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 you know, when you have as few scholarships as as we have, you you got to get the right guys. You know, you got you got to get the guys who fill the needs that you have. A lot of homework, evaluation. Uh... It's watching a lot of film. So it's watching a lot of film. But you know, you know what? You can watch three games and some guy's terrific, and then you just didn't watch these other two, and he sucked. You know. So it, it, it's not. I mean, we act like it's it's the it's the uh, save all. You know, it's not. I mean, it's not. You you you're still you're taking a chance. You don't you don't know. I would have never. I would have never ever thought this would happen. I mean, I told you when we started the season, we got three guys who can really make shots. And all of a sudden, none of them are making any. And we shoot it a lot. I mean, we shoot it more with this team than probably any team that I've ever coached. This, um, the young bunch that you got, do you think this will be a, a bunch that will stick it out, will continue to work, get better, hang around? What are your I had meetings with all of them yesterday, and I heard nothing but that from them. I mean, you know, the reality is it, it, it's kind of like we recruited Truck and Kevin Jones, and, and, and I said to KJ, I'll never forget, I put my arm around KJ when they were going back home, and I said, What's, this, this West Virginia Morgantown, it's a whole lot better than what you thought it was, isn't it? He said, Coach, I could have never imagined. I could have never imagined. So, you know, a lot of it's getting them here. 
but you line us up with a lot of like other people they're like i don't, I don't, I don't think i want to go to west virginia because they don't know anything about it so we've got to work like crazy to get them here to let them see what we have to let them see the opportunities that they have to see you know the fan base that we have we're going to talk to Taz here in a few minutes. So a couple comments on Taz, your, your thoughts on the, the season he's had. Obviously, he's had some tough breaks. He's had some really tough breaks. Um, I think, I think you know, Taz started out the season and he's and then he's, he sprained his ankle and he's, he's just had like one thing after another. It's just been... It's it's sad to to see a guy who's put the time and effort in that he has, and hasn't been able to play to his fullest. Um, you know, I tell you, he 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 fought the concussion. I mean, he you know we had to keep like relax, slow down. You know, he he, he wanted to play. He wanted to play. It's just. Um, Things happen like that. They're unfortunate. All your seniors walking walk, walk tomorrow. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, yeah. Reference to Ron a few years ago, that younger group in the conference tournament. Is there anything that kind of leads you to believe this team? I know it's not necessarily the same youth. Factor, but is there anything that leads you to believe that you, know, you can do some damage in the conference tournament? You played pretty well until that Oklahoma game. I I can remember Jordan McCabe running a team and and running it well. I can remember Emmett Matthews stealing a ball and going down and dunking it over top of a guy. I can remember how hard and how committed those guys were to winning. Um, I don't know. You mean you can always look back. Everybody's always better, you know, after the fact. You know, actually, people think I was a pretty good player. You know, that that's that, that's well after the fact. They never saw me play. Um, you know, it, it's we when we were lucky. I mean, we were lucky. I I went to I went to see Tariq, and I said to the coach, "I'm like, coach, how was he shooting?" He said, "I wouldn't call that his best quality." I'm like, so he doesn't shoot it very well? He goes, no. I said, well, how's he handle the ball? Eh, okay. You know, I wouldn't say great. I mean, how well does he pass it? Eh. He said, Coach, let me tell you this. We're going to go in the gym. There'll be about 30 guys in there. Some of them still have their work boots on. You can pick any four you want and put him on Tariq's team and he'll win every single game. I said, I'll take him. And we pretty much did. <laughs>